What, what, what I mean is this. When, when we talk about changing your looks, when changing your mindset, is that a lot of guys think that if they change their looks, right, then that's automatically going to make things easier for them in the game. They, they, they think it's just automatically right. going to make girls want to have sex with them. They, they, you know, they, they don't got to do nothing, just show up. They just got to walk into the room. And women are just going to be all over them and they don't got to deal with shit and all this other stuff, right? But what you got to understand is, is that you can change your looks, right? But the, the, the most important thing is you have to also change your mindset because understand that, let's say, for example, you know, you were overweight and you, you know, you, you dress funny and you, you just look terrible or whatever, right? Now, let's say you say, okay, I'm, I'm starting to lose weight. I'm changing my looks. Right, I'm dressing better, all this other stuff. Now, right. when you were overweight and couldn't get girls because it, it wasn't really because of you being overweight, it was because you were you just thought. Remember, you thought you're you're thinking, you're thinking you can't get them, right? So now, mm-hmm. what happens is is that that same thought of of you, oh, I can't get girls because girls don't like me because I suck. That doesn't automatically <laughs> change because you lost weight, right? Because what's going to happen is is that You'll lose the weight or you'll look better, but you still have the same mindset because you worked on your body, but you didn't work on your mind. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So you oh, see what I mean? Yeah. Is that is that simple? You worked on your body, but you didn't work on your mind. You understand what I'm saying? So because you didn't work on your mind, you're you you basically worked on the outside, but you didn't work on the inside. It's like it's like, you know, if you had a fucking car and and there's no fucking engine right and the outside looks good of the car but they ain't got mm-hmm. no fucking engine right. so you ain't going nowhere you know what i'm saying it's not happening you see what i mean and so a lot of guys get confused because they think that you know uh you know if you look better then just things are going to fall into place and see the funny part about that is this is that the the reason the, the reason why you changed your looks right in the first place came from your mindset. So it's not about changing your looks will change your mindset. It's actually the other way around. If you change your mindset, your looks will change and then everything else will change. You see what I'm saying? That's the thing. (laughs) You know what I mean? That's a fucking fact. You hear what I'm telling you? (laughs) You That's a fucking fact. That's the thing. Dudes don't get this shit, man. Because the biggest, just 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 to add on to the point, the biggest part of my weight loss situation was changing my mind on, on like, how my body deals with, like, carbohydrates and all that type of shit, bro. Right. You understand? Right. Like, I had to really make a choice to understand that, hey, this if I want to lose weight, this is what, I can't eat this shit. Like, I can't, right. there's certain things I can't eat. or And in certain ways, I can't eat anymore neither. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. there's things that I have to, that I'm going to have to change about my diet. And I have to change the way I ate. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's just like you said, like you have to change your mindset first and then, and then the, the, the physical changes happen. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. Exactly. Because see the, the problem with a lot of guys is they're, they're, they're looking for uh validation from outside. You understand? Instead of from within themselves, mm-hmm. you see what I mean? And so this is why they're trying to look better and thinking that that looking better is going to change everything. So it's going to yeah, it's going to change shit, right? Right, because because a guy who'll say he'll say you know well, you know if I look better, because see this is what this is what happened. Let's say for example, you, um, you you you're you're let's say for, you just use the overweight example, like you're overweight, you lose weight, and you're looking better because you lost weight. Now let's say you you might get certain girls checking you out more, right? Right now. Right. Before your problem was you were scared to approach girls uh, and, and, and uh, you know, because you thought girls wouldn't want you and you thought you were whack, whatever now. But now your problem is you got maybe one or two chicks, in, in, you know, checking for you, but you still scared to approach girls. So it's even worse now because the thing you thought was going to make it better or easier or make things fall into place you realize right. that that's the that's a lie. You realize that that's not actually, you know, because it's always this thing where once I arrive at this point, everything will be great. I'll, I'll be happy. Right. Things will go how mm-hmm. I want it to go. And then when you get to that place and you realize, shit, 
you know, I, I still got to go and approach these girls. I still got to talk. Mm-hmm. These girls still rejected me. Do you, you understand? So, like, imagine, imagine you're getting the same amount of rejections or uh, more rejections than you expected, but you look better, though. You understand? Right. That's going to fuck you up right. even more. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Because, because now, now you don't even know why you're like, well, before it was because maybe I wasn't looking that great. So I can use that as an excuse and realize and think that's what it is. But now you look better and you still having trouble with these chicks. You still getting chicks who are wishy-washy. You still get chicks flaking. You still get chicks giving you the run around, rejecting you. And he's just like, what the fuck? I thought as soon as I looked good, then everything will fall into place. And I'm like, nah, bro. See, the thing is, is that that will make you almost feel even worse because now exactly. you're like, damn, like, you know, before I thought it was I wasn't getting girls or girls didn't like me because I was w- was overweight, but I lost the weight and girls still don't like me. So then you start to think, damn, well, maybe I'm just unlikable, period. You feel what I'm saying? You start right. thinking crazy shit right. like that. You feel what I'm saying? Which is going to make you get even more and more insecure. Right, which is going to make it even harder for you to talk to the next girl because you're going to talk to her with that insecure energy, because you're just right. like shit. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. You know what I'm saying? And so, what I'm telling you guys is, you have to understand that the the, the what's what's oh, what's going on on the inside. You understand? Meaning what you think about yourself, the shit you believe, your mindset, your the things that you 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 uh you know understand. That's the thing that needs to also be worked on. It's not just your looks. You understand what I'm saying? Because right. you could be a, a, a good looking dude, but still be lame. You could be a good looking dude and still have weak game. And that's going to be to your detriment. Because like the other day, I did a whole live stream talking about how the game isn't good, uh, easy for good looking guys. Because you still got to go through the same shit that every other guy has to go through. You understand what I'm saying? You're still going to have women who don't think you look good even though you look better. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're still going to have women who you're not their type, right? So you still got to play the numbers game. You still got to go and do what you got to do. Let me tell you something crazy. And and niggas probably won't believe me, but I'm actually getting, I was getting more matches when when I was was heavier than I'm getting now, bro. Exactly. Bro, I tried to tell niggas this. I did a a whole video about this shit. I try to tell niggas this. I did a whole video I'm the, I'm titled the, that shit. But go ahead. I'm the saying? skinniest I've, I've I've been in years, and I'm getting less mass matches, bro. I'm getting less matches, and I'm getting less bitches that want. Well, the COVID nineteen thing might have something to do with that, but I'm getting less chicks that want to like meet up, mm-hmm. or even or even FaceTime or do anything. Mm-hmm. They right right now, you know, right now maybe because of the COVID, they they all on the attention home and shit. But if if I'm if I look that good, you know, and so to speak. Then you would think it would it would work out better, like you know what I'm right, saying, like right. And see, like all I got to do is just say what's up to these bitches, and they just willing to drop their fucking pants and do exactly what I tell them to do, right? Right. But it's exactly, not like that, bro. Right. And, and that's what I'm saying. I did a video a while ago where I talked about how, uh, you know, um, average looking dudes, you know, and how they can get how they they're able to attract women. And see, the thing is this: is that sometimes what happens is the better you look. You still have, cause see, look, everybody's going to have the, 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 the pros and cons. You understand? So like, right. so what I mean is, is that, you know, if you're see, when you're a good looking guy and you look good or whatever, and, and you, you're just looking on point, whatever like that, there's a portion of, or, or there's, there's a lot of situations you're going to get into where shit's not going to happen because you're too intimidating to the chick. You understand? Because you look right. good. You understand? So dudes thinking, oh, if I looked better, I'm going to get pussy. But nobody want to talk about the amount of pussy you're not getting because you look better. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> like nobody don't want to talk about that. No, nah, it's a fact. It's a fact. You know it's a fact. Like, it's a like fact. nobody don't want to talk about that's that. Something, that's something else that's been happening to me too. Like I'll, I'll, um, I'll fucking, you know, the chick that I do get to match with, a lot of them, they come back at me on that, uh, Oh, you know, cause, cause you know, I'm, I'm like straight G. I'm like, yo, uh, I'm ready to hang out, like, boom, and I'm, I'm getting ready to set the date, and, and I'm telling them what to do. I'm like, yo, text me so we could, so we could confirm the plans and all this shit. Right. And they be getting that back at me talking about, oh, you, you know, 
you you seem so controlling and so conceited and blah blah blah. Right, and I'm like, oh, exactly. God. Right, that's you what I'm saying. Because a lot of these chicks, like you said, they're very insecure. They see a they see a good looking dude who's sure who's sure about himself, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden he telling you what to do and all right. this. Chicks lose their shit, bro, because mm-hmm. they're they're so they're even especially in the world of online dating. This is why we got to do more cold approaching. But right. especially in the world of online dating, you have to remember how 